Alzheimer's disease continu continues to be an important public health issue. Hi, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, epidemiologist, biostatistician, faculty member. And in this segment, I'm going to be going over a um, Alzheimer's disease uh, nonprofit organization. Um, so let's go and get started. The Alzheimer's Impact Movement is actually a nonprofit organization that is um, working to um, working to improve um, diagnostic and, and treatment criteria for Alzheimer's disease. So they're trying to um, drive action by um, by utilizing federal research funding uh, in order to improve access to care and support services. Um, a lot of times, as, as you know, Alzheimer's disease affects um, the vulnerable populations within the United States more more so than the general population. Um, so the main goal is for Alzheimer's disease um, to support and research about the disease uh, through ad adva advancement of research. And there's a lot of premier institutions, governmental institutions that are working to address Alzheimer's disease. So let's um, take a deeper dive here. Um, as it happens to be uh, tomorrow, um, April 7th is actually um, when a thousand advocates from all 50 states um, descend on Washington, DC. Um, so you can follow along um, as this transpires. And this is um, a great way to um, not only to educate um, but also to advocate for those that have Alzheimer's disease. Um, you can take action and, and here, um, act now, volunteer, um, and you can learn how you're um, providing more um, difference in, t in, time, in terms of addressing Alzheimer's disease. Um, the Alzheimer's Impact Movement um, is one of the most critical public health issues in America and the Alzheimer's Association are unrelenting. Um, so one additional, I want to read you these statistics, um, these staggering statistics here. Um, Seven million Americans live with Alzheimer's disease. That is a progressive and fatal brain disease. $3.7 billion um, has been invested uh, and this has increased actually due to advocacy. And this is Alzheimer's and dementia research funding more than more than sevenfold in the last decade. And then 11 million Americans provide unpaid care for people living with Alzheimer's or other dementias. And, um, caretakers often have uh, burnout from being um, from caring for Alzheimer's disease patients. Um, so th these are some recent happenings as it pertains to Alzheimer's disease. Congress reaches a bipartisan agreement on $100 million Alzheimer's research funding increase and continued investment in Alzheimer's public health infrastructure. Um, House Energy and Commerce Committee passes key Alzheimer's priorities and then House introduces bipartisan legislation to accelerate dementia workplace preparedness. So there, as you can see, there's a lot of various happenings surrounding Alzheimer's disease. So um, Alzheimer's policy in the states, and I'm going to go into Pennsylvania, um, and you can actually select a state and um, take a look at what the policies are there and even the statistics of the state. So at a glance, um, Alzheimer's is um, growing, is a growing crisis in Pennsylvania. Um, 282,000 people live with Alzheimer's in Pennsylvania. 465,000 Pennsylvanians are providing unpaid care and $3.7 billion Medicaid cost of caring for people living with Alzheimer's. Um, these statistics are 
um, are quite uh, shocking. Um, so you can use the aim to take a look at um, what is going on in Pennsylvania. Um, one of the ways that you can keep um, advocating for Alzheimer's patients is sharing your story with elected officials, engaging in social media, and writing a letter to the editor. We can uh, dive deeper into Pennsylvania so that you can see how the states um, provide, what type of information is provided to the states. Um, so in Pennsylvania, um, and this was a while ago, um, Governor Tom Corbett issued Executive Order 2013-01 to establish Pennsylvania Alzheimer's Disease Planning Committee. And this included Pennsylvania living with Alzheimer's disease family members and caregivers of people living with dementia. Um, so this is the aging network. And they're working with other agencies and providers from across the care continuum. Um, and you can actually visit the Pennsylvania State Alzheimer's plan that um, I was telling you about. Um, there's other priorities that are important to take into consideration. I actually talked about Alzheimer's um, last November at the American Public Health Association, and these are like um, apolipoprotein E is a is a strong biomarker of uh, the prognosis of Alzheimer's disease. Um, however, a lot of insurance companies actually can't keep pace with the innovations and advancements in treatment. Um, and so insurance doesn't necessarily cover um, the detection of a lot of these biomarkers. Um, so um, there was a Senate bill passed and a House bill to expand insurance coverage of comprehensive biomarker testing. And without that legislation, um, dementia diagnoses may take up to two years, increasing the long-term cost. So this was something that was um, a huge milestone that was um, th that took place. Um, so there's Alzheimer's Association is urging state policymakers to uh, appropriate seven hundred fifty thousand dollars to the Department of Health to establish a full time Alzheimer's disease and related disorders director and program staff provide support to an ADRD advisory council. Um, again, the state Alzheimer's plan is. Uh, very important to take a look at. May 6th is Pennsylvania State Advocacy Day. Um, and during this time, advocates will come together to turn the Capitol purple as they share stories, speak with lawmakers, and urge support. Um, and then you can get involved. Uh, let's take a quick look at the Alzheimer's plan. Um, and this is quite a long document here. Uh, almost 100 pages going into um, the, this letter that was written by Governor Corbett, as I was mentioning. Um, then I'm just going to go through the table of contents. So um, in the ac action plan, there were recommendations, goals, and strategies. And um, there happens to be actually seven recommendations. Um, one is improving awareness, knowledge, and sense of urgency about medical, social, and financial implications of ADRD across the Commonwealth. Um, due to the magnitude of the ADRD the epidemic, identify and where possible expand financial resources, promote brain health and cognitive fitness, provide a comprehensive continuum of ethical care and support, Enhance support for family and non-professional caregivers. Build and retain a competent, knowledgeable, ethical, and caring workforce. And then finally, promote and support novel and ongoing research. Um, that's the table of contents, and it's kind of the summary of what is in this um, enormous document. Of course, um, they start with the demographics and, um, and what the challenges are. Um, not only in financing, but also um, in the research. Um, again, the name of this video was NAPA, National Alzheimer's Project Act. So this is a, a brief overview of 
um, what is all happening surrounding Alzheimer's disease. I hope this has made some sense. Thank you for listening.